Hello everyone. My name is Ragna Ordudottir, speaking to you from Reykjavik, Iceland, presenting my candidacy for the governing board. I have more than 30 years of a professional experience in the government sector and the private sector, both on national level and international level. As a legal expert, an executive and as a board member. I have worked in a fish factory and have been a minister of justice in the government of Iceland and many things in between. I live in Reykjavik, I'm married, I met my husband more than 30 years ago and we have two daughters. I love fishing and dancing. I haven't tried the both at the same time, but I'm sure it's possible. I'm also a proud volunteer for the Icelandic Red Cross for more than a decade. I served on the Icelandic Red Cross board for nine years, most of the time as vice president. My focus? Good governance and national society development, which brings all sorts of interesting challenges conflict resolution and fun. Today I am a special advisor to the board regarding legal matters and national society development. Which brings me to my priorities. One, I've already mentioned good governance. I truly believe that accountability and transparency is a vital ingredient in a modern movement, earning the trust of the communities we serve. Transparency has been a trademark of the Nordic countries, an effective tool against corrup corruption, opening up our societies and improving many aspects of life. Two, maintain a diverse, inclusive movement. It's really important to activate the participation of a diverse group of people and a diverse group of national societies. Bringing together different voices and perspectives lead to the best results. We all have our own story to tell. We all have our own re reality. Let's listen to each other. Let's create our own unique voice. Third, effect effective and efficient human response. Coordination is a key word. And let's face it, capacity building is a long-term goal. Sustainable methods and solutions are necessary to ensure effective and strong national societies and branches. We in Iceland have a lot of to offer in this field after more than 1100 years in our very beautiful but cruel nature. That I know as a former Minister of Justice in Iceland and the head of the civil protection. Last but not least, fighting the climate change with green solutions is indeed one of my top priorities. Let's be a part of the solution not only by responding to crisis but also through prevention and mitigation. We have something to offer here. I have something to offer. We Icelanders began building up renewable energy more than a century ago, when we were one of the poorest nations in Europe. We used our geothermal resources and waterfalls because we had nothing else. Renewable energy has brought us wealth and a good living standard. I have been so lucky to work in the green energy sector in Iceland. I was the deputy CEO of the National Power Company for eight years. All in all, I'm a woman who loves to take on challenges and try new things. Currently, I'm the Secretary General of Althingi, the Parliament of Iceland, which is the oldest parliament in the world. I'm the first woman to hold this position, the first woman in 426 years, no less. I would be very grateful for your support in the upcoming election for the General Assembly in Geneva in June. And let me assure you that I'll do my best to support and promote our Red Cross, Red Crescent movement. Thank you.